Hi guys! Today I'm making you chicken cacciatore, a rustic Italian hunter's stew. There are many variations of this dish using different cuts of chicken and red or white wine. If you don't want to use alcohol, I'll show you a vinegar substitute during cooking. For the chicken, use thighs, bone in and skin on, or a whole chicken cut up. Rub plenty of salt and ground black pepper on both sides of the chicken and under the skin for more flavor. Coat each piece in all-purpose flour on both sides. I like to do this on a sheet tray because it avoids the mess and fits all the thighs. These trays are extremely useful in the kitchen. We'll also need dried oregano, dried rosemary, red chili flakes for heat, chopped yellow onion, grated garlic, bell pepper sliced thick, a red or green is fine, sliced mushrooms, these are creminis, you can use white button mushrooms or oyster mushrooms. Crushed tomatoes, chicken stock, oil cured black olives. Make sure you remove the pits. Substitute another type of olive if you can't find these. And finally, the wine. Use a dry white wine like Sauvignon Blanc or Pinot Grigio. Dry vermouth is also a good option. Or a dry red wine like Pinot Noir, Merlot, Chianti, or Cabernet Sauvignon. The non-alcoholic substitute is a quarter cup of red wine vinegar, a quarter cup of water, and one tablespoon of sugar. Heat up a wide pan and add a few tablespoons of olive oil. When the oil's hot, add the chicken pieces in a single layer without overcrowding the pan. Do this in two batches if all the pieces don't fit. Cook for a few minutes until golden brown and then turn over to cook the other side until golden brown. About four minutes on each side. Remove the chicken and set aside. Leave two tablespoons of oil in the pan and remove the rest. Add the chopped yellow onion and saute for a minute, scraping up all the delicious brown bits on the bottom of the pan. We'll add the bell pepper, two pinches salt, dried oregano, and saute this until soft. Now the grated garlic. Saute this for less than a minute. Now the wine or the vinegar substitute. Mix everything well. Place the chicken pieces on top. This dish is three and a half quarts and I can fit five very large thighs. You should be able to fit six or seven thighs if they're smaller or in any juices from the plate. Cook for about five minutes until the liquid reduces by half. This is a wide pan so it happens quickly. Now turn the chicken over and coat it in the onions. Pour in the crushed tomatoes, chicken stock, salt to taste, dried oregano, red chili flakes, and dried rosemary. Mix everything and turn the chicken pieces back over. Cover and cook this for 10 minutes. Fresh rosemary and fresh sage go really well with this dish, so add them instead of the dried if you can get it. This is also a good time to boil water to cook pasta, which is perfect with the saucy chicken. After 10 minutes, move the chicken around a little to make sure they're not stuck to the bottom of the pan. Spread the olives all around and the mushrooms. The pan's pretty full, but you can tuck in the mushrooms and they will all fit. Cover and cook for another 10 minutes or until the mushrooms are tender. Taste and adjust the salt. This needs to cook for another five minutes. Add some fresh basil torn up if you can get it. For some reason I couldn't find it anywhere today, so I'm adding fresh sage leaves. This is definitely a sign to grow basil indoors as soon as possible. And our chicken cacciatore is ready. We coated the chicken in flour and that helped thicken the sauce. If your sauce is watery, remove the chicken pieces and simmer the sauce for a few minutes. This chicken is fall apart soft 
and the sauce is wonderful served over any kind of pasta, polenta, or potatoes. It's such a comforting dish to have on a cold winter day like today and every day for the next few months. Let me know how you liked it in the comments below. Click on that bell icon to get notifications when I upload a new video. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.